Good morning. I'm hoping there will be someone joining me this morning for another Facebook live this Monday morning with a new card sketch. With 2021 coming, I decided to switch to the Sunday sketches rather than the Moho or Mojo Monday card sketches. There are lots of different card sketches on Pinterest that you can find, and I really like the ones that have the measurements included because it just helps you um, get your card materials together. Now, last time I did a Facebook Live, for whatever reason, I couldn't see any comments coming through. So I'm going to use my phone here. People were commenting, but I couldn't see them on my iPad, and I didn't know why. So let me just switch to my phone here and see if any of you are there. Yes, there is one comment. So I'm not sure. I looked into why my iPad may not be showing comments, and I, I really don't know why. So let's see. There we go. Carol, you're watching this morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. But anyway, I can use my phone and look at comments. How are you this morning? So I am going to be using a brand new, um, a brand new stamp set called Sweet Strawberry, and this is absolutely a delightful summery um, stamp set. And it comes with a coordinating punch, so you can punch out the strawberry and the top stem of the strawberry, some leaves, and another little flower. Everything that coordinates in the stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set, so easy to stamp, easy to use. So this is what the stamps um, look like. Let's see, let's turn this paper over and show you. There you go. So I've already got quite a few of the stamps mounted. It's got some nice greetings. That was so sweet of you. Thank you. Happy birthday, you sweet thing. Hello there. And just for you. I always love to have a just for you for when I make little gift treat packages. So I'm starting off with a piece of our uh, Whisper White cardstock. This is the thick cardstock. Now the Whisper White cardstock has now been replaced with, um, with something called Basic White. Unfortunately, the manufacturer of Whisper White, they, they went under probably all due to this COVID problem. So Stampin' Up! can no longer contract them to do all of their papers. So they've had to source it out again, and now they have something that they're calling Basic White. So everything that was available in Whisper White is now available in Basic White. Same quality, great cardstock. Okay, so let's take a look at our sketch here. Now, the reason I'm using um, white is because there is no, um, there's no um, layer on top of this card base. And I'm going to stamp the leaves. See these leaves here? I'm going to stamp these in a pattern on the base. And then for these flowers here, I'm actually going to use the strawberries. I'm going to punch out some strawberries. And this little strip here, one by four and a quarter, I've taken some of the designer series paper and there's one of the backs of the designer series paper has the little um, the strawberry seeds. So I'm going to show you the papers because you won't believe, especially if you grow your own berries. So you get two sheets of each design. So I'm going to show you each one and it's all watercolored. So, and it's very, it's a really thick, beautiful um, weight. Um, designer series paper this will make great little boxes okay or any other kind of three-dimensional project so this one has got raspberries blueberries and strawberries on here absolutely stunning and wait till you I'm gonna save this one to last then there's another one with all blueberries on it absolutely stunning 
And then there's the raspberries. Look at those. Or they even could be blackberries, although blackberries are a little bit longer. And then there's this one with strawberries with all of the foliage around it. And then there's another um, raspberry color. So there's a purpley raspberry, which again, you could use as blackberries maybe. And then the red raspberries. And then, wait till you see this. And the punch will punch out these strawberries, I believe. I'll have to try that out just to see. Although, yeah, it'll, it'll punch out the strawberry and then you punch out the stem and put it on top. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, aren't these papers stunning? Now, wait till you see the backs. So the backs are, look at this. Isn't that fantastic? You could make a little basket out of that and fill it with your strawberries. And there's a red one. And then there's just a whole bunch of leaves on the back. Stunning. Here is the one with the seeds. And this is just a nice mottly watercolored Blackberry Bliss color. And then the blue. This could be another cute basket. So gorgeous papers. Now, these papers, and I'm just going to pull out my celebration brochure. So this little brochure is filled with all of the papers and uh, stamp sets that you can earn for free. So most of them, if you spend $60, you can pick a $60 free item. And then there is one in here that is at the $120. Well, there's a couple. So this a touch of ink stamp set because it's two times stamping. This one is valued at $120. So $120 purchase, you can get that one for free. It's one of my favorite stamp sets so far. And then this one is, um, this is where I got the paper. This is free paper, plus you can get this free stamp set. Now this is a different stamp set than this one. This one is in our larger catalog, our occasions catalog, and that's bundled with the punch, okay? So if you purchase this, it might be enough to actually then get this extra stamp set and all of these papers. So you have a beautiful, um, a beautiful selection of berry related stamps and paper. Here are some samples on this side. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to have fun playing with this. I might even turn this into a class. Okay, so let's get started. So on my card base, I'm going to actually do some stamping. And I'm going to stamp this in the, um, I love this green. It's one of my favorite greens, Granny Apple Green. So I'm just going to do a pattern. I'm going to pull out a scrap of paper here. And I have my silicone mat underneath because I'm using a photopolymer stamp set. So it needs a bit of cushioning. Okay, so let's start stamping here. I might do, um, I might stamp off to make it a bit of a lighter green. again because I think I went off the paper actually I'm going to get another piece of paper here there we go okay so let's ink it up, stamp it off, stamp it on the cardstock, ink it up, stamp it off, and 
So I'm just going to keep doing this until I fill my whole card. And when you're doing this technique, you want to go off the edges. And you also want to continually rotate your stamp. You know, it doesn't take much ink, paper, and a stamp, and um, you've got a card. Doesn't take much. I want to fill in as much as this gap as possible. There we go. Okay, there is our card base. Look how pretty. I might do a little bit here. Good morning, Lena. Nice to see you on here or see that you're here. Oh, I forgot to stamp that one off. That was a little mistake. Got to concentrate what I'm doing. You distracted me for a second there, Lena. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. All right, let's put this, I might need that green again because I'm gonna do some leaves. Okay, so my idea next for the card sketch is I'm going to put this piece of berry, the seeds at the very bottom of the card. I might lift it up a little bit on the bottom here. So I'm gonna put that strip on. Then I'm gonna build my berries here. And this little piece is just a little uh, flagged piece. And I am going to put my greeting on that, I think. Okay, so what I decided to do is I cut, I wanted a layer on here. So I cut, and I don't know that black is the right color. So I was going to put this on and fold it over the top of the card. It's going to stamp my greeting on here and flag the end. Let me just pull down my... Um, punch this is a great punch it's called banner banners pick a punch because it's got a selection of different banners that you can create let me just throw this in here i'm going to turn it over to make sure it's centered you see you want to make sure it's centered in there okay and then let's create that little banner and then i'm going to do this um just for you even though I just said that this is great for gift packaging but I think it's good for cards too so I'm gonna do just for you here and then I'm going to stamp um, let me see I think I'm gonna stamp one of these little tiny flowers on there um, so this has a, um, this is two times stamping as well. I love these stamp sets because it saves you coloring. If you're not a big fan, I love to color, but if you're not a big fan of coloring, um, these two step stamps are great because it gives you an outline and then a filler. Okay. So I'm going to stamp this in... Um, I think this is Poppy Parade. Let me just, um, hang on a sec. Let me just grab. Our paper packs come with this sheet of card and it always has the colors on here. There's lots of colors. Balmy Blue, Blackberry Bliss, Calypso Coral, Cherry Cobbler. Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Garden Green, Granny Apple Green, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, po yeah, Poppy Parade, there it is, Rich Razzleberry, Shaded Spruce, and Whisper White. 
yeah so two shades of green two shades of um reds purples yeah that's great okay so i'm going to do poppy parade i have all the ink colors of course just because as a demonstrator i get the discount which is great feeds my habit so let's do this actually now that i think about it flowers for growing strawberries are white are they not so maybe i'm just changed my mind maybe i'm going to do this in i'm just going to do black as an outline i've completely changed my mind and i think there's a little stem on here or something let me see what else can i do on here yeah maybe i'll just add this little stem and fill it in with green let's do that this is what this crafting is all about is creating on the fly which is what i do all the time when i'm all by myself and I like these on the fly sessions because I didn't pre plan. I didn't pre plan this. Okay, let's, but here's my granny apple green. So let's um, put a little green, I'm going to overlap it, a little green leaf on there just to give it some. And here's the inside piece. Now, when you are using stamp sets that have a lot of little stamps, it's really handy to have these little tiny blocks that we sell. So I have probably about 10 of these blocks because I don't want to have to keep cleaning in between and putting a new, a new um, stamp on it. So I usually have quite a bit. So I'm going to stamp that off and then just go right over that. Let's see. Let's turn it around. Okay, perfect. All right, there's my just for you. And now I'm going to, um, let's see. Let's cover this, whoa, that was close. Let's cover this black ink here. And I'm gonna fold this over the top, but I think I'm gonna score it. Oh, look, I've got red ink on my fingers. Let's watch out for that. should always have like a paper towel or baby wipe next to you to wipe off your ink. Yeah, I'm just going to pull out. <clears throat> pull out. <clears throat> excuse me. Pull out my scoreboard here and I'm just going to score it. Okay, so I can fold it over. So that will go over like that, I think. And maybe I'll back it on a bit of the poppy parade because there's going to be poppy parade down here. So let me grab a little bit of poppy parade. Here we go. And I think that's the same size. I want it a little bit wider. So let's just cut. Yeah, that'll work. So let's just cut. This was, I think this is one inch. Yeah, one inch. So let's just cut. Let me just pull out my little. Let's do um, one and a quarter. And let's, now this is too wide for this, so I'm going to do a, a manual cut. So I'm going to fold this over the top of this, and I'll glue this on. Okay, let's glue this on. 
and then I will flag my end. That's what I'm going to do. Say, I'm going to fold that over. Let's center that as best I can. There we go. And then let's flag it. So let me pull out my scissors. So when I flag it, I always go up the middle first and then I go in from the sides. Okay, pretty simple. And then I'm going to glue, put some glue on this little piece here and on here. And let's fold this over the top. And hold that for a few seconds. Okay, and let's see, I think we can put this safely on the bottom. I think I'm going to go right to the bottom edge there. So I often like to cut a strip that's a little bit wider than the card and then trim it. Um, just in case it's like a smidge off. And then um, it's too short. So that's my little trick. So I need my silicone mat. Let's move this out of the way. And I'm going to put some tape runner on here. Ooh, I think this is finished. It's sticking out here. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's give it a go. Yep, we're done. We're done. So we have replacements for these, of course, and this just gets thrown out. It's not recyclable, which is kind of sad, but. And then as you use this, it does get a bit, you know, gummy at the very top. So you just see it's a little ball of gum here. Can you see that? So I just uh, use my fingers and uh, take that out. Give it a bit of a clean up and let me just grab a new roll and I have to order some more they come in these really cool uh, ziploc pouches pretty strong I don't know what else I could use this for if you had kids you could put little snacks in there maybe I don't know wash it out and use it as a little snack packet I wonder if you could fill it with water. I wonder if it would seal well enough. It could be a little ice pack too. Yeah, there's another kind of an idea. I don't know. Okay, so this then just drops in. You've got two posts here. There you go. Drop it in and put the lid on. And it's stuck to my cardstock. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then you might have to get it going. Just use your finger and push it along. There it goes. You can feel the tape. Sticky. Okay. We're back in motion. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right down to the bottom edge. like so and then I'm going to snip it always snip it from the other side okay there's one piece here is the other piece okay kind of cute 
All right, let's work on our lovely, luscious strawberries. So I'm going to pull out some cardstock here. I'm going to need another piece of this Whisper White. And I've already got now, again, this strawberry has an outline and a filler. So I'm going to do the filler first. So let me pull out the Poppy Parade. I'm going to use the same color. Actually, I'm going to do the um, outline first, I think. So this is going to be full strength. Okay, full strength. See, and it adds a few little um, seeds on there. And then I'm going to stamp this piece off. And then fill in. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's two-toned. It's like watercolored. I love that. Now, where's my punch? Now, I haven't used this punch yet, ladies, so um, it's going to punch a whole bunch of holes. You can't help that with these. Uh, these are called builder punches, so they have uh, several images to punch out on here, and so you basically have to... Um, I usually work with thinner strips of paper to avoid punching out too much excess. So I'm just gonna, oh, and it's the other way. Oh, this is even gonna be more difficult now. Okay, so what I have to do is after you get to know your punches, you'll know how to cut your cardstock. So I'm gonna trim that off so that I can get this in here. Okay, like so. And punch that out. Okay, there's my strawberry. I think I need another piece of paper here. So little strips like this are really um, handy. Okay, now it's not wide enough actually. Um, I always have lots of strips of paper in here. Do I or don't I? Here, this one will work for the leaf. Now the leaf is sideways. The other thing you wanna watch for is look at your punch to know how to stamp your image. So again, I've got this green outer leaf and I'm gonna punch it in the same direction as my punch. So I'm gonna stamp that in full strength and then I have my filler and I'm gonna stamp this off. And again, this is a, let's move this out of the way. This is again a watercolored image. So stamp that like that. There we go. And let's punch this out now. So I'm going in here. There we go. So we have that leaf. And we want a stem. We've got the, the stem. And that was, let's see, where is it? Here's the stem. So let's find some more cardstock here. There's another piece. Is that wide enough? Not quite. I'm going to get another strip of paper here. I can't find any more in my... It's a good sign, actually. Oh, here's... No, that's too short. Um, it's a good sign. I'm actually... Here we go. Here we go. I've um, used up a lot of my strips. So every time I cut cardstock, you end up with these leftover strips. So let's do this one in the green. So again, if you look at the punch, the stem is to the right. Um, so I'm going to stamp that. And then where's my fill piece? Here it is. And I'm going to stamp this one off. And fill this in.
Oh, I did that pretty well. And then stick this in. Now you can put the punch on the table. I usually hold it up. But you can lay it on the table. One thing you want to really be careful is that you don't pinch your hand. See, and I can't do it lying on the table. I have to hold it up. I use it like a stapler. Okay, here we go. And there's my little stem. All right. Now, I'm probably going to want another strawberry, so I have to go through that whole process again. I don't even know if I needed that leaf, but how does this work now? This is going to go on here like that, yes? Yes, look how sweet that is. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. And stick this on top. Oh my gosh, isn't that just the cutest little thing? Okay, now I have to go through that whole process again. Now I'm going to show you, I don't know if I want to do it in this video, but there is a way in which you can create a template out of this, and then you mount all of your stamps and stamp them all together, although they're different colors, so I don't know, maybe that wouldn't work as well. I digress. Okay, so I'm going to punch this way, so again, I'm going to watch for my... Um, strawberry here so I'm going to stamp my strawberry now I've seen people turn this strawberry into a little pear and oh my gosh that is so cute you just change up your ink color and you have a little pear so this because and, and don't do the don't do this top bit just stamp this for the pair. Oh, it's harder to see. I should have done the outline first. Oh, okay. So I think we're going to do another one. I think we'll have three strawberries. Are you guys still with me? Okay, so we'll do these two strawberries, get these cut out, and then I'll do the leaves again. You see how a strip of paper works a little bit better? So there's the strawberry. And... Another strawberry. end up with lots of little bits and then we're going to do those little leaves <laughs> I just missed I just missed my recycle bin it's all over the floor now okay I need another piece of strip of paper I need a longer one here we go oh, they're all buried under here perfect okay thought I was running out okay let's do these leaves now <coughs> okay, so I'm going to punch it. It doesn't matter which way you punch, but whichever way you turn your punch, you want to stamp that way. Okay, so we're going to do this stem. <coughs> Excuse me. I should have brought some water to my desk. So I'm going to do my stem to the left side this time. Stem to the left. I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to do it from the other end because if I do them side by side, the punch will cut into it. So I don't want that. And oh, stamp off. Stamp off. Okay, and then punch. Yeah, see if I had done them side by side, you see what would happen? It would punch into it here. So, 
You have to play with your punches to figure out, especially these builder punches. See what I mean? Watch. That was a bit tough. I don't know why. So there's one. And then here's the other one. I think this is my thicker cardstock, my thick whisper white and not my regular. That's why it's harder to punch. Okay. Okay, let's not miss the recycle bin that time. Good. Okay, so we've got some other strawberries here. So again, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. A little bit of glue on this one. So I am tickled pink with this stamp set. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Imagine making a set of gift cards for someone. Can't wait. Look at that. Okay, it looks like a comment did come through. Oh, here we go. Gorgeous papers. Here come the comments now. Lena, good morning. Um, yes, you're here in crafting. Love those strawberries. Yeah, how come they're coming in now and not before? That is so bizarre. And now they're not on my iPhone. Maybe I have to swipe again or swipe up. Yeah, isn't that funny? I don't know. What is going on? Now, I don't see all those comments on my phone, but I see them on my iPad. I'm telling you, the mysteries of... The mysteries of technology every day is a new challenge. But I carry on. Okay, so now I have to decide how I want these on here. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to hide these stems. There's oh maybe I could just do three along the bottom, change up the design totally. I kind of don't want to cover. I was going to do a little bunch, but I don't want to cover them over. I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Isn't that sweet? Oh, and of course, I'm going to do Wink Estelle. I give them a little bit of moisture. And I should have done a few more. Could have popped some of these underneath here, but maybe I'll just, oh, I don't know what I want to do now. Do I want to, do I need to add anything else to this card? Come on, guys, let me know what you think. Do I need to add anything else to this card, or is it is it good enough? I don't think I need anything else. I'll wait a couple of seconds to see if you weigh in. <coughs> and then for my envelope, oh, and, and for the inside of my card, I always like to put um, some layers inside my card. So I'll probably put either the green or poppy parade four by five and a quarter for the inside. And then I'll do a piece of whisper white. So let me run off and do that while I wait for you to weigh in. Let's see if I have a piece of scrap.
Okay, I have to open up a new package of Whisper White. This is going to be my inside. Let me see if I have a piece here. Let's see, I can cut this down. Here's a piece of white. And this is the exact same size. Yes, yeah, so I have to cut this down. All right, so your layers are four by five and a quarter for this layer. And then this is going to be three and three quarters. Three, three and three quarters. That's here, three and three quarters by five. So if this is four and a quarter, I just need to take off a quarter inch. No, I can't use this trimmer. It's a very, it's a trimmer meant for tiny little jobs. I need my other trimmer. Because I want to do this at... Ooh, I could use this on the inside. It's a leftover piece. I want this to be five. There we go. Okay. All right, so this is gonna go on top of here. So I'm gonna do some more strawberries on here and I might put this on the bottom a little strip and then I'm going to do a few more strawberries or one strawberry on here so let's um, open up my poppy parade and get my strawberry outline Do my inside st strawberry, but I'm going to stamp off. Okay, and then I'm going to do my I'm going to do my little leaf. Actually, I should have cut this leaf out for the top. Yeah. Because that won't work on top. So let's... Um, okay, I need some more cardstock here. Let's see if this will work. If you plan ahead a little bit, you know, if I'd have planned ahead how many strawberries I wanted, I could have done them all at once. But sometimes that that's the wrong punch that doesn't work out that's okay so I'm going to put him in here and punch him right here that one leaf's going to get cut off a tiny bit can't even tell oh maybe it didn't get cut off can't even tell okay so I'm gonna stick him on top of that with some glue I should bring out my tweezers I like using tweezers okay, let's stick that on top of that Okay, I might put just a little strip of this on here. And 
I'm just going to use a little bit of glue because my tape runner is a bit wide for this. So, just want a tiny bit of glue. Here we go. <clears throat> Cut from the back. Okay, then we're going to glue this onto the base. Oh, now, before I stick this onto here, the thing to always think about is, are you going to do an inside greeting? Now, I said just for you, and I could do a happy birthday on the inside. So I like to stamp it before I stick it on here. And actually, before you put tape on it, because if you make a mistake, you want to flip it over. So even before doing the strawberry, before putting on this strip of paper, I should have done my greeting, all right? So this is a virgin piece of Whisper White. Do the greeting. If you muck up, flip it over. Do the greeting again. When you're happy, then do all the other stuff. Tape goes on last. Okay, so that was my um, mistake. So I'm going to bring back the stamp set again. I think there's a happy birthday. Happy birthday, you sweet thing. That's kind of cute. Um, there it is. Happy birthday. Just for you. Happy birthday, you sweet thing. Okay, now imagine, oh my gosh, imagine this stamp set, having this stamp set, and then when summer comes, June is when strawberry season is here, and then going and buying a nice basket of organic strawberries, and then bringing them to a friend with a set of little note cards. Oh my gosh, that would be so sweet to do. So I'm going to do my greeting in black. So I like the clear greetings with the clear blocks because then you can really um, make sure it's nice and straight. Sorry, I can see I've got my head in the camera. I can't help that sometimes because you got to get your head right over your stamping sometimes. Okay. And um, I might just add a couple of these little white flowers on here. Let's put one here. And maybe one here. Okay. Now I can stick it to my card. Oh, look how sweet and fresh that is. I love making Christmas cards, but I am ready for something new when our mini catalog comes out in January. So for those of you who watch the replay, if you're new to Stampin' Up! or new uh, to card making and you would like to receive the catalog, just let me know. Send me a private message and I will get one to you. There's lots of delightful things in there. Okay, let's stick this in the card and then we're done except for the envelope. Look at that. Oh, I didn't stick my strawberries on. I was waiting for you guys. Um, I don't know. Maybe more messages aren't coming in. I don't know. 
So I'm going to stick these, I'm going to stick two of them on with just glue and the one in the middle I'm going to put on with a dimensional, I think. So let's put this one on. Let's put this one on. And then let's put this one on with a dimensional. I think I'll just do two dimensionals, one here and one at the bottom. There we go. And this completes the card. I'm going to put this a little bit higher. Except for a touch of wink. So when you feel that you're not getting any more, you just want to squeeze the barrel and you should see, well, this is, I think, empty. So I can hear it. I don't see anything else flowing in there. Okay, we have an empty one. So I'm just going to grab a new one. I always have extra on hand, one extra. Um, this is good that I'm opening this just to show you how it works. Okay, so when you get a brand new one, notice this black band on here. So what you want to do is unscrew this, take off the band, screw it back on. Okay, pull the lid off. Okay, now this is a brand new one, so there's no ink in the barrel here at all. Now be very careful because it can start coming out. Always, I always have a piece of paper towel or something. I've got a Kleenex here. So you're going to squeeze and just watch that. Um, you see it coming out here? See it coming out here? So then you want to start the brush going. I should do this on a, a piece of paper. So that you can see it coming out. So you want to start using the brush until it starts coming out. See it's wet now. It's hard to see in the cameras. Yeah it's coming out now. See? I don't know if you can see that in the camera but it's definitely coming out now. So now my brush has, um, oh yeah it's going really good now. So that's all there is to getting a new one started. Now, I don't throw these away because I will wash this out and you can use it as a water brush. Okay, you can even put color in there. Oh yes, that's working beautifully. So I'm only gonna do half the strawberry. There we go. Okay, ladies, we're almost at the top of the hour. I like to keep it under an hour. So there is your card sketch for today. So again, make something for the card sketch and then post it in the comment section on this via Erica's VIP Crafters. And then we will do a draw at the end of the month. Okay. So happy crafting, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. And we will see you next week again. Um, in the meantime, I will be having a new blog post coming out from our Seashore Stampers group. We did a Valentine's themed project. So I will blog about that. And then I have a new fun fold again next Friday. So hopefully you saw my fun fold from last Friday. So my blog is ericaedney.com. If you want to go over there and see. 
and then I have a YouTube channel, Erica Edney, as well. And you can always find me if you Google search from me to you paper crafts. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a great week. Bye for now.